Everyone thought he was a weak salaryman, but he becomes the strongest adventurer in the world. Rick was an average guy in a fantasy world full of magic and adventures, but his life wasn't very interesting. While most young men would join an adventurer's guild to go on treacherous journeys to fight against monsters to bring back gold and glory, Rick ended up being an average salaryman who worked a 9 to 5 dead end job with no prospect and girlfriend just like you. After working at the same company for several years though, he decides that he has had enough and throws a resignation at his boss's face. After two years of intense training under some senior adventurers, he comes back to the guild to take an entrance exam where the receptionist turns out to be Alisa, who was his junior in his previous job. She is shocked to see him choose to be an adventurer at such an old age of 30. While talking to her an older drunk man staggers up to the reception and starts hitting on her. She ends up refusing his advances so just like a butthurt Tate fan, he decides to assault her and grabs her arm, telling her to shut up and listen like a good woman. Rick decides to intervene and calmly tells him to back off while grabbing him near the abdomen. Suddenly the man starts foaming from his mouth and gets knocked off which surprises everyone. But Rick claims that it's just because of drinking alcohol. He receives his admit card and walks outside to meet a beautiful woman named Rhea, who asks whether everything went well. Meanwhile inside the guild people notice a handprint on the Tate fan's body which has been imprinted into the metal armor, while some FBI agents arrive claiming that this man is named Doe who is a former a rank adventurer with assault charges. Alistair realizes that Rick must have knocked him out and giggles happily while he goes into the exam center where people are shocked to know that he is 32 years of age. They all line up to touch the examiner's ball which registers their magic. But when Rick goes over, the ball doesn't show anything and the examiner gives him an F while he sadly moves away. The others make fun of him when suddenly the ball cracks. He goes into a different room where the power in their attacks will be measured through a slime bag. He remembers how one of his muscle brain seniors made him hit a golden slime bag thousands of times after showing how easily he could break it. Rick wonders whether this would be even harder as the examinees go forward one by one to attack the bag. After them a young boy of 11 moves forward who is known to be a prodigy and wielder of C-class magic at this age. He looks like a total twat and does fancy moves before letting loose an incredibly small fireball which seems to surprise the rest who think he is a genius. Rick remembers how one of her young seniors managed to create a fireball that looked like the sun and threw it towards him which he barely dodged. After that several other contestants hit the bag when finally Rick's turn comes. He moves to the stage but the old asshole tells him that he should simply give up because he wouldn't see much growth at the age of 32. He remembers how he trained on the golden slime bag till his hands were bleeding, while his senior told him that he needs to hit him half a million times more to achieve basic strength. He decided then that he will never give up so he puts his all and punches the bag which to everyone's surprise, completely blows up and gets blasted outside of the exam hall shocking every single person. Rick himself seems confused and thinks that the bag must be defective and considers himself lucky. The next round was defensive magic round, where the instructor uses third-class magic on him, which leaves him completely unfazed as he stands there smiling. The instructor commends him and asks whether he used 2th-class defense magic, but to his surprise, Rick replies that he was using 5th-class magic, which is supposed to be the worst. The instructor thinks that he is taking it as a joke and tells him to buckle up as he will use 1st-class magic and suggests him to use a 1st-class defense as well. But to his surprise, Rick replies that he only knows how to use 5th class magic. The instructor is absolutely rattled but decides to use the magic nonetheless, creating a huge explosion, but Rick is still left completely without a scratch. Hearing the commotion, a high-ranking knight comes inside named Sill, who asks what's going on as the explosion shouldn't have been so loud, when the attendant tells him about Rick and his exploits, which surprise him. After that he completes his written examination and comes out of the center breathing a sigh of relief. Rhea tells him not to worry as he worked very hard these past two years, but he still thinks that he messed up his practicals. While talking, suddenly the prodigy kid named Freed walks up to him and starts shouting at him for stealing the limelight as he wanted to be the star of the show. Rick seems confused, but Freed starts crying like a baby and immediately a girl comes up and hugs him. She introduces himself as Angelica the sister of Freed, and tells him that this 40-year-old man bullied him. Rick shouts that he is still 32, but Angelica makes fun of him for being a lifeless loser before claiming that he must be punished and throws a glove at his feet while telling him to fight her. 
Rick has no intentions to fight so he picks up the glove as it was getting dirty. But Rhea informs him that picking up the glove means he accepts the duel. It's too late to back off now, and they both enter the stadium where he learns that she is a second-class knight, which is as powerful as a B-rank adventurer. He immediately starts freaking out as he doesn't think he can ever win, but Rhea tells him to think about his training these past years, which reminds him again of how sadistic his seniors are, and he starts throwing up. This makes him feel better, as compared to his seniors this girl is nothing. While Rhea tells him to have some confidence, as he is the member of the strongest party in the entire kingdom. This brings him some courage as he gets ready, while the arrogant girl takes her stance and collects her magic before bursting towards Rick with an incredible speed. Rick ends up dodging her without thinking while she thinks that she must have missed the mark. She tells Rick that she used a slower version of her attack, while the young brat shouts from the seat that his sister is known as Lightspeed Angelica because she is the fastest in the entire kingdom. She gets ready to attack once again and burst with a blinding speed, but Rick seems surprised as in his eye, she seems to be moving extremely slowly to a point where he wonders if she is making fun of him, and moves away at the last moment. This time Angelica is surprised as she wonders whether it was a fluke as only some rank adventurers can avoid her attacks. She turns around once again with conviction and charges at him once again with her lightning fast attack which again looks very slow to Rick who realizes that he can run much faster than this. He wonders whether this woman got into the knights through nepotism, or whether he is actually really strong. While he was in his thoughts, Angelica ends up tripping on a rock, and starts spinning very fast which scares the crap out of Rick, and he starts running away trying to dodge the sword which was flailing around. The sword ends up getting stuck in the wall, while Rick gets scared thinking that this must be some high-level technique that he doesn't know about and feels stupid that he arrogantly thought he was strong. Angelica gets up once again and decides to use her fastest blink step, which is three times faster than the last one, but to Rick it's still slow and he dodges it easily. After that she decides to use it twice again, but ends up tripping once against and comes from a lower angle. Rick tries to intercept with his punch but she manages to slip through while Rick creates a huge crater with his fists, scaring the Bejesus out of the girl. Rick comes out once again and tells her that she is really strong so he will try his best as well, but Angelica is so scared that she surrenders immediately and runs out. Rick is confused but Rhea tells him that the results of the exams are about to be released and his seniors are also coming which scares Rick who has no idea what they will do if he fails the test. The next morning, he goes inside the main exam hall, where every single participant is seated, as one of the attendants, tell them that they all have their admit cards with them, and one by one the judges will send mana to the cards. If the card glows red, then the participant ended up failing and need to try again next year, but in case the card turns blue, then that means that the participant has successfully cleared the examination. Rick is beyond scared, not knowing what will happen as he looks at Rhea for some reassurance. She calmly tells him not to worry and have some faith in himself as he has trained pretty hard the last two years, and she personally thinks that it should be enough to clear the exam. This seems to bring Rick some relief as he thinks about how pretty Rhea looks but at the same time realizes that he must be much older than she is. Rhea turns towards him and tells him that he doesn't need to worry, as even if he fails the exam, he ca always try next year, but they will have to increase the intensity of his training by three times. This utterly shocks him as he barely managed to survive through their normal training. But before he can say anything, his card starts glowing, and blinks red and blue again and again, building suspense, after finally revealing the color to be blue, which means that he passed the exam. He exits the hall alongside Rhea with a smile on his face, when suddenly he smells a very strong scent and covers his nose. The scent seems to be coming from a pretty flamboyant guy who walks up to the dark elf and takes her arm. He introduces himself as Roz, the Duke of the Northern Kingdom. Roz doesn't even seem to notice Rick and starts hitting on Rhea, telling her that she is so beautiful that he is willing to take her for his second wife. Thankfully, Rick intervenes once again, which sours Roz's mood, who looks at him darkly and asks what the hell does an ugly old man want from him. Rick tells him that Rhea is his girlfriend and he can't let anyone hit on her, but Roz starts laughing and claims that he has no idea who a middle-aged man can pull a baddie like her. He notices the adventurer exam card in his hand and starts smirking, claiming that he can't believe anyone can be an F-rank adventurer at Rick's age. But Rick snaps back, claiming that Roz doesn't seem too strong himself. Roz calls him a third-rate person for not realizing his greatness, 
as he became an E-rank when he was 14 and currently he is in a rank adventurer and also the examiner for the second stage of their exam. He turns to Rhea and tells her to go on a dinner with him, but Rhea sticks to Rick unlike Ethots and tells Roz to piss off as his perfume is too strong for her taste. Angrily, Roz turns around, vowing to show Rick his place when the time comes. The next morning when Rick arrives at the examination enter, he gets to know that the second stage is going to be mock battles, which scares him. Rhea tells him to hold back, but Rick tells her that he will have to go all out against these strong participants, especially if Roz is his examiner. Suddenly a guy calls out to Rick and tells him that he is going to be his examiner for the day. This makes him feel a bit relieved, while the guy tells Rick that it's really inspiring that a guy his age is trying to become an adventurer. The examiner introduces himself as Lynx, and informs Rick that even he decided to become an adventurer pretty late at the age of 25, and has been hustling ever since. He tells Rick that his goal is to become an A-rank adventurer, but just becoming B-rank took him 20 years, so he doesn't know whether a rank is even possible for him. Rick gives him some confidence and they shake hands, before the examiner leaves, bidding Rick good luck. After that interaction while in the waiting room, Rick seems to be in a pretty good mood, when a person opens the door and informs the participants that Lynx the examiner has suddenly fallen ill, so Roz will take his spot for now. Rick doesn't even give it a second thought at first, as he forgot the name, but Rhea reminds him about it and he starts freaking out. She claims that Roz is the Duke of the Northern Kingdom, which means that he must be related to the Knight Angelica, and the boy freed in some way. This news is even worse as he has humiliated both of them as well. The other participants seem to be worried as well, as they tell him that Roz is one of the most ruthless examiner who loves torturing the participants who grab his attention so much that he has gotten the nickname the F-ranked crusher. Rick realizes that he has grabbed more than Roz's attention, while in the ground, Roz obliterates a participant with his spells, calling him a low-ranking peasant, and calls the next participant in. Rick is beyond terrified at this point as he paces through the room as Roz is definitely going to kill him, and all he wants to do is run back home, but if he does that his seniors will triple his training which will be his death as well, so this really puts him in a pickle like Pickle Rick. Rhea sits on the floor and tells Rick that if he can lose so much confidence from just people talking then he should be able to gain confidence if she shows him the truth as well. She tells him that he has done enough training to easily pass this exam no matter who he faces, and at this point he has nothing to lose and everything to gain. This really puts things into perspective for Rick as he thanks Rhea for making him feel much calmer now. Suddenly a small person with a hood over him walks over and asks whether Rick would like to know his future. Rick being the dumbass he is ends up accepting the offer, especially since the guy promises that it will be free. He puts a crystal ball on the table and asks Rick to sit down, but Rhea suddenly notices that there is a spell on the chair. Unfortunately, Rick disappears before she could even do something which pisses her off, and her aerial slash cuts through the crystal ball and the wall behind the person who turns out to be Freed. She realizes that it was teleportation magic and asks Freed to reveal where he sent Rick, and when he refuses, she literally uses her finger to slash off his eyelashes, threatening that the next time it will be his eyes. This shakes Freed up who reveals that teleportation is very complex and even a genius like him can only teleport someone 100 meters away, so he should be nearby. It turns out that Rick got teleported behind the exam center near the beach, but before he could understand what's happening, a bunch of people dressed in black surround him completely. The old butler tells Rick that they need him to disappear for a bit, and introduces themselves as the elite guards of the Northern Kingdom. Rick immediately realizes that it's a plan by Roz. The butler reveals that all of them are equal to B and a rankers so Rick doesn't have a chance against them, when suddenly his seniors appear on a cliff asking what the hell is he doing here. Rick gets scared as they drop down from the cliff and tells the butler to go away as their lives are in danger. But one of the bald idiot ends up attacking the tall orc who doesn't even move as the blade breaks off the moment it touches his skin. The bald idiot tries to punch him now, but Ash simply grabs his fist and breaks it completely. This doesn't seem to shock the other senior while the baldy has no idea what to do. To his surprise, orc pulls a redo of healer on him and heals his arm telling him to practice some more. The blonde American senior tells Rick not to worry as he will peacefully resolve it like Texans do before immediately pulling out an R-15 from his ass. The guards end up attacking him, 
But you should never bring a knife to a gunfight, as he simply uses magical bullets to blast them down while Rick watches in horror. Suddenly one of the guard grabs the little demon girl called Alice at knife point and tells the seniors to drop their weapons. Rick is horrified and tells them to let the girl go for their own sake, while Alice simply thinks that these men are playing a game. The guy ends up smacking her head, which pisses her off so she blasts them away immediately. The butler slowly realizes who these people are as he recognizes the lowly to be Alice the Vampire Mage who is the strongest mage on earth. He also recognizes Eld the American who has gotten funding from the American government, while Orc is one of the strongest adventurers on the planet. He claims that these people belong to the strongest party in the world with only S rank members inside of it, known as the Fist. Soon enough Alice deals with all of them blasting them here and there, while Rick runs back to the exam hall to meet up with Rhea, who throws Freed into a wall. Before they can talk, the door opens and Lynx walks in looking super beat up and claims that Roz ended up forcing him to step down as the examiner and locked him in the room. He tells Rick to leave the exam hall for his safety, but Rick seems pissed as he tells Lynx to relax while he enters the arena as Roz creates a huge column of flame, ready to end Rick's journey as an adventurer right here. While Roz was having fun tormenting the poor trainees in the yard, one of the men above on the benches was looking down while laughing at the scene. This man turns out to be Adolf, but thankfully not from Germany. He has a very unique ability as he was gifted with the skill to observe someone's core stat to figure out what their abilities look like. There are four major abilities, physical strength, magical strength, speed, and dexterity. He seems to be enjoying the show as he checks each participant that comes in front of Raz and observes their skill set to figure out how badly will they be defeated by Raz. Another trainee comes who seems to have pretty average stats and immediately gets decimated by Raz's lightning magic while Adolf laughs his ass off. He then decides to check the stats of Raz as well, and as expected, Raz had an incredible amount of magic inside him which definitely only an ranker can have. Even looking at Raz for a minute or so makes his eyes hurt as its strong stats put a strain on his eyes. He suddenly notices Rick ready to face Roz, but Adolf doesn't even think much about him wondering why such an old guy is even trying to become an adventurer at this age. He decides to check his stats anyways, and to his surprise and horror, he finds out that Roz has the max stats in all category apart from magic. Looking at Rick's status for only a couple of seconds make his eye hurt like crazy as he rolls on the floor from pain. On the other side of the stadium, Rhea finds Alisaho also came to watch Rick's final exam, so she invites her to sit with the rest of her party. At first Alice is scared to find an orc and a demon vampire sitting there, but Rhea tells her not to worry and sits down. The orc asks Rhea what does she think about Rick right now, and without a moment's delay she replies that Rick will easily pass the exam. Alyssa however is unaware of Rick's strength and claims that she isn't very sure because Roz is a great a asshole who overwhelms the weak trainees with his superior magic. Orc looked worried, but when he learns that Roz is an a-ranking adventurer he calms down, claiming that it shouldn't be a problem for Rick. On the battlefield, Roz commends him for getting from his guards, but tells him not to think too highly of himself as the guards were at the end of the day commoners, whereas he is an a-ranking prodigy and a duke from of the Northern Kingdom. Rick asks why Roz became an adventurer, and the cocky brat replies that he was a genius so he thought of adding an a-ranking adventurer on his resume as it will bring even more prestige on his noble family, but in truth he doesn't respect adventurers at all and thinks that they are all peasants. After that the battle began and immediately Roz shot an ice blast towards Rick, which went past Rick as he stood still in place. Roz laughs as he was simply toying with him and wanted Rick to get scared. Meanwhile Rick tries to calm himself down as he can't let anger fuel his actions as he remembers Rhea telling him to stay calm and observe his opponent at first. Roz thinks that Rick is too scared to do anything, so he decides to finish the battle as quickly as possible. He uses his extremely strong flame magic and blasts Rick with it. But to their surprise, Rick emerges from the flame without even taking a scratch on his body. Alice seems very surprised, while Orc tells her that a tiny attack like that would do nothing to Rick's body. He tells her that among the four core attributes, magic can only be trained and grown till the age of 20, but since Rick started training at the age of 30, there was no way to increase his incredibly small mana pool. Because of that, Orc decided to focus mostly on his physical toughness, and to start his training he made Rick wear 100 kg ankle weights and forced him to run through an entire forest filled with demonic snakes. 
Back at the battlefield, Roz decides to use an even stronger spell from his arsenal, and blasts Rick with his wind magic, sending waves of slicing stormy winds at him. But again, Rick stays standing in his position without even moving an inch. This makes Roz a little angry, and he uses a lightning spell at him, but Rick again perseveres through it like a champ. Alice is really confused by this, so Rhea tells her the secret that Rick is just as strong as an S-ranked adventurer at this point. But the problem is that he himself doesn't know about it. When Orc was training him, he would lie to Rick that even an F-ranked adventurer would be able to perform better than him while Rick was cracking boulders with his punches. Back inside the arena, Roz completely loses it and starts going all out sending several combinations of earth, lightning, water, fire, and wind magic at Rick all at once. This time he thinks that the old participant would definitely be dead, but to his absolute surprise, as the dust clears, Rick emerges, breaking the giant boulder in half. Roz is shocked at the sturdiness of Rick's body, so he decides to take matters into his own hands. He uses magic to reinforce his body and makes his fist harder than steel as he rushes towards Rick with extreme speed. Rick however, doesn't budge from his position and simply throws a lazy punch, which connects with Roz's punch who gets blown away immediately. He regains his balance and drops on his feet, confused at how this man is able to resist his attacks, while Rick decides that he has observed enough and comes to the conclusion that even though Roz has an incredible amount of mana, he never trained hard enough as he got everything he wanted easily. Because of that every move of this noble brat is completely unpolished and inefficient. This gives Rick an insane amount of confidence as he realizes that there is no way he could lose to this dumpster fire of a man. Roz finally gets serious and decides to use the strongest fire magic in his arsenal. But once again, even after giving his all, Roz's fire blast was easily blocked by Rick, who simply used his hand to stop the attack. Roz immediately rushes towards him for a sneak attack, but Rick is not easily fooled as he immediately counterpunches. Thankfully, Roz managed to change his body to steel which barely saved him from being pulverized. He shakes the dust off from his body, but even after all this, he is not ready to acknowledge Rick's skills and calls it a coincidence. This enrages Rick as he remembers all the training he had to undergo like surviving in the nest of a dragon, running through explosions and even drowning in a venomous pond. Eld remembers how he pushed him off a cliff, and how Alice crushed him beneath a rock, and how he got hit by falling logs while training with Rhea. Thankfully Orc knows a special healing magic that can revive a man if he died very recently, and that's how Rick managed to push past his limits. Back in the arena Raz uses his earth magic to bind Rick with very strong roots, and alongside that, he starts chanting a long spell which creates a bunch of roots around him that completely envelop him. Soon he becomes attached to the tree golem and tells Rick to say his prayers as he is not leaving this arena alive. Rick creates a small air shot which is one of the most basic magic in this world, but he is confident in it because he has practiced this magic over a million times. He breaks through the roots that were binding him while Roz comes down to finish him off with a magical punch. Rick also throws a punch and both of them clash in the middle of the arena as a huge shockwave is sent all over. At first Roz was confident in his power, but to his surprise, Rick's air shot completely overpowers his magic and his tree golem explodes into small pieces, blasting Roz back into the benches where he lay unconscious while everyone in the stadium is unable to believe that the strongest examiner just got his ass handed to him by a trainee. Later on, Rick meets up with his friends who all congratulate him on passing the test, but before they could head down to get some lunch, Roz enters with his siblings. He tells Rick that he will make sure that he is the examiner again when Rick takes his promotion exam, and promises to defeat him next time before walking away. Later that evening the results for the passing adventurers are unveiled, and while the others were feasting in the tavern, Rick and Rhea were eagerly waiting for his name to be called out wondering how many adventures await them in the future. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe, and check out this brand new anime about a human who hides and becomes the strongest leader of the demon army.